Well, apparently, OnePlus is on the mission. A uh, mission to continue to stir up both the digital and the tech pot. And it does so this time around by putting on the docket its latest tablet. The all-new OnePlus Pad 2. This device seems to be here not only to disrupt the tablet market landscape, but to show that it could be an alternative to the iPad. But could it, though? Is this the David to Apple's Goliath? Or just another wannabe lost in the shadows of the iPad's reign? Well, buckle up, because we're about to find out. Welcome back to the channel, folks. We've got something interesting here. Interesting because it's tough to gauge exactly where it stands in this super competitive world of tablets. But one thing is for sure, you better have this on your list if you are considering buying a tablet right now. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, then you likely know that I've been a Samsung aficionado for a while. But that doesn't mean I turned a blind eye on competition. In fact, I would argue that I've done a pretty good job at recognizing competitors, such as Apple's achievements, for example. In fact, the tech that I own here probably is pushing a 50-40 split advantage to Samsung, and the remaining 10% being other brands. But I digress. Here we are, and now enters another competitor worth considering. OnePlus Pad 2. But does this new guy have the chops to make me rethink my Apple and Samsung tablet allegiance? Well, let's break it down. First things first, the design. Tablets aren't exactly the most exciting gadgets when it comes down to aesthetics. They are essentially slabs of glass and metal. But OnePlus has managed to inject a bit of flair into the Pad 2, at least enough to make it stand out from the sea of sameness. The design is distinct, starting with the placement of the camera bump, a circular module smack dab in the center of the back. It's a bold choice, one that screams, I'm different, and different it is, but in a good way. The camera module doesn't protrude obnoxiously, yet adds a unique visual element that sets the Pad 2 apart. In fact, it did the same with the Pad 1. And then there's the color, Nimbus Gray. You know, it's sleek, an understated shade that gives the tablet a sophisticated vibe. OnePlus has done a commendable job here in making sure that the Pad 2 looks and feels premium in hand with a high-end device feel, all of this at a considerably low price point. Moving on to display, and this is where the OnePlus Pad 2 truly shine. The 12.1 inch 3K display is a visual treat. It's sharp, vibrant, and with a resolution of 2800 by 2000 pixels. Whether you are watching movies, playing games, or just browsing the web, everything looks crisp. Although peak brightness is nowhere near the 2000 nits found on the iPad Pro, 900 nits here still make the display, I guess, pop to the eye and still eliminate the need to squint when under direct sunlight. By the way, if this is your first time visiting, welcome to the channel, of course. I truly appreciate you being here. Please do me a favor, hit both the like and the subscribe button there. Again, truly appreciate it. All right, so nice display here and 144 hertz adaptive refresh rate is a game changer, especially for a tablet that is priced here. Well, a tablet in this price range. Scrolling through content is buttery smooth and gaming feels more responsive than on tablets with lower refresh rates. Although only the small minority will likely use this feature. Now let's talk performance. At the heart of the Pad 2 here is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip a flagship mobile chip that brings a level of performance rarely seen in non-flagship tablets. It's also accompanied by 12 gigs of RAM, and this helps with your multitasking experience. So whether you are switching between apps, running games, or editing videos, the Pad 2 handles it all with ease. There's only one config here though, 256 gigs of internal storage. So what you see here is what you get. It's not ideal, given that you cannot expand that internal storage to those of you looking to expand or for more internal storage. 
Uh, frankly, I'm not sure why that was the move that OnePlus made here, but it is what it is. Battery life has been pretty good as well. The 9510mAh battery is rated for up to 12 hours of video playback, and in my testing, it seems to live up to those claims. What's even better is the 67 watt hyper fast charging, which gets you from zero to 100% in just about an hour. And that's a massive convenience, especially when it comes down to a tablet for those or to those of you who are constantly on the go. On the software front, the Pad 2 runs Oxygen OS 14, which is based on Android 14. If you've used a OnePlus device before, you'll know what to expect. It's clean, fast, and customizable. OnePlus has a knack for tweaking Android just enough to make it more user-friendly without you know, straying too far from the stock experience. One of the standout features here is split view multitasking. It's not just the number of apps, it's the way you interact with them. It's, it's noteworthy. And you can see here, you can split up to three and kind of play with it and readjust. Pretty cool stuff. The smart sidebar is a neat addition, allowing for you to quickly access your favorite apps and open them in a windowed form. And with everyone jumping on the AI bandwagon, the Pad 2 here does come with a pretty nice suite of AI features or AI powered features, including web summaries, writing assistance, and audio transcription. While I haven't delved too deep into these features, it's clear that OnePlus wants its devices to be future-proof. The audio experience here has been surprisingly good. You know, whether you're watching a movie, listening to music, or playing games, the sound kind of envelops you, creating a more immersive experience. But let's be real though. Most of us will probably pair this tablet with a good set of earbuds or earphones, and I don't blame you. Now, let's talk accessories, because they can make or break a tablet experience. The smart keyboard is a two-piece design here that magnetically attaches to the tablet, and here's the kicker. It is Bluetooth enabled, meaning you can detach the keyboard from the tablet and still use it. Pretty dope, as the cool kids would say. The typing experience is decent, but it's definitely not gonna blow your mind. It does get the job done though. I also need to add that I struggled a little bit to get the keyboard to work at first. Maybe my unit. So it was more of a clunky experience at first, but things picked up and it started working. My main gripe with this keyboard is the fact that it is not backlit. If you are someone who often works in low light conditions, well, you might find this a bit annoying. The stylo here is OnePlus's answer to the Apple Pencil. It looks similar, it charges magnetically by snapping it to the top of the tablet here, and it offers a few customizable functions via a single button. It's a solid option for note-taking, sketching, or just navigating through the tablet. You can see that OnePlus kept things simple with these accessories, giving users exactly what they need without complicating things, right? And I would say that's a good thing. And here's my take, I guess let's just bring it there. The OnePlus Pad 2 here, if you were to ask me, is a formidable adversary in the tablets arena. It doesn't just look good on paper, it performs exceptionally well in real world use. It seems particularly well suited for media consumption. And on the same note, it does perform like a pro tablet, despite not claiming to be one. It has pretty good battery life, smooth software experience with good multitasking, minimal bloatware, and so much more at a price that you just cannot beat. If you are not tied to Apple's ecosystem and you want a tablet that offers great value for money, the OnePlus Pad is definitely one you know, worth considering. And of course, there are other things that you should bear in mind, like you know, software support, along with many other things, but still a nice contender or a good opponent you know, to other tablets in the tablet arena. But anyways, I'm certainly hoping that this was informative. Let me know with any questions you may have in the comment section. Make sure, of course, to like, share the video if you know anyone who'll be interested. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section like I always do. Don't forget to subscribe, as I mentioned earlier. Hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Up until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.